Well, good morning. It's Tuesday morning. We are blessed to be with you here today. Trust that you're off to a great start this week. Amen. Amen. Well, today the uh, title of our devotion is, He is Always Listening. Let me say that again to you, okay? Because sometimes we question that, okay? He is always listening. And there's a couple of scriptures I want to share with you. The first one is 1 John chapter 5, uh, 14 and 15. And this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. And if we know that he hears us, whatever whatsoever we ask, we know that we will have the petitions that we have desired of him. That is re- reiterating over in Jeremiah chapter 29. In chapter 29, we normally read only verse 11, for I know the thoughts that uh, I think toward you, saith the Lord, uh, thoughts of good and not of evil to give you um, an expected end. But listen to verse 12 here. He says, And then shall uh, you call upon me, and you shall go and pray unto me, and I will hearken, or I will hear you. You shall seek me and find me when you shall search for me with all your heart. And so literally those scriptures coin, uh, coincide with each other that you know when we begin to seek God, that he will listen to us. He will hear us in that. I, I know sometimes it seems like when we pray, and no, no, I haven't felt this way in a long time. I'm going to be honest with you. I haven't felt this way in a long time, Marcia. Because, you've learned, I, because, because you've learned how to pray. Yeah, I've learned how to pray. But when I would pray, it would seem like it would no, get no higher than the ceiling. You know, mm-hmm. it was just like something was blocking that, you know. And, um, or, 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 you know, I just kind of felt like, I wonder if God is really listening, you know. Mm-hmm. But I know when I begin to pray his word, I begin to pray his will, I know God pays attention well, see, to that. It's, it's kind of what you, we've been talking about in the devotions these past few days is, is uh, learning how to pray. And at the time you, you felt these things, it was before we knew how to pray. Really, that's we exactly We didn't know right. how to speak the word like yeah. we do now. We, you know, and we're not thinking we're better than anybody else. But you know what? That's what we need to be sharing with others. Yes. So they can get their prayer life to where yes. God wants it to be. Amen. You know, and uh, because... Uh, it is frustrating when you pray. You pray, but the whole problem is the way we were praying. Yes. For example, and you, we should be thanking God for all He's done through Jesus Christ. Amen. In His grace and mercy, His grace, we should be thanking Him that He supplies all of our needs according to His riches and glory by Christ Jesus. But instead, we go, "Oh God, I've got this electric bill, and what am I going to do? What am I going to do?" Well, the Word tells us. You don't do that because God won't. God can't do anything while you're doing that. Yeah. He He won't answer that. You have to come. You have to come from a posi- again a position of faith and not a position of fear or doubt. That's you it. Know. You're talking you know, the problem rather than the, the solution. solution of that. So you when know. you're praying, you ask God. You say, Father God, you know me. You know my situation here, and I just thank you that you supplied all my needs according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Amen. It says right here in your word, Father, says, that you'll Father do this. Word. Amen. And you know, there, there's another scripture that says, "Remind the Lord." You know why it says that? He doesn't need to be reminded. <laughs> he it's knows. so that we remind ourselves. <laughs> Faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. So as you're saying this, Father God, I thank you that you are supplying this financial need that my family has right now. I'm not begging. I'm not pleading. I know that it's taken Amen. care of in Jesus' name. Amen. Go Amen. Ahead. Well, so, Marsha, there's a word that we've been using here. It's called petition, okay? Amen. You know that your petitions have been heard, okay? And so the, the definition of the word petition is a formal written request addressed to a sovereign superior for a particular right or grace. That's awesome. So, you know, I mean, maybe what we need to do is so that we learn how to speak right. Maybe, first of all, we ought to write out what we're mm-hmm. believing. So, here's how we're going to do this, because we want to show you this. First of all, you need to roll up your sleeves yeah. and dig in the written word. Find scriptures that apply to the situation yes. and make those the foundation yeah, of your petition. You, the, the, what we're talking about here, if you don't know the word, you cannot pray his will. How can you pray his will? You don't know his word. You don't know Because his, his will is his word. That's right. That's right. His word is his will. Right. Yeah. Secondly, what happened? Second, then you get on your knees and you consult with the Holy Spirit. <laughs> That's something we don't do. So many times we go by our emotions 
or the situations that are around us. But if you get on your knees and consult the Holy Spirit, let Him talk to you. Let Him tell you how the an what answer to come. But as you do this, you're going to develop that petition in detail. You know, absolutely. It doesn't. The Lord knows what your problem is. He knows what the situation is. But He needs us. To get an agreement with him yes, that it's amen. already taken care of. Where two agree, right? right? Sometimes we're not in agreement with God because we're not bringing his word. Yes, his absolutely. To absolutely. You. He'll show you how to be in his word. And then last of all, write it down. Make a formal written request by writing down every scripture you find. Also, as you're listening to the Holy Spirit for details, write down the impressions and ideas that he gives to amen. you. And I believe a lot of people have had some great ideas oh. of for financial blessings, you yeah. know, that as they listen to the Holy Spirit, God will show you ways to, that the need will Amen. manifest itself. I mean, be manifested and done. Yeah, I think the Holy Spirit, the more you do, the Holy Spirit will develop you in that That's area it. of yeah. listening and uh, and Just He'll lead in, you. And the, praying in the Spirit, yeah, allowing the, Him to talk to you. The Bible says that He will lead you and guide you into all truth, That's you true. know. And you go back over to the Psalms, it says, his word is a lamp into my feet, a light into yes, my path. That's right. So praise mm -hmm. God. Listen, he's always listening. So it's not a question of whether God's listening or not. We gave you two scriptures today that, that confirms that God's always listening. It's what we're praying, all right? Yes. And if we're not praying according to his word, he's not obligated to fulfill well, that. He won't because he, won't. he can't because that's, that's right. one of his laws. That's Amen. right. Amen. Mm -hmm. God bless you. Have a blessed day. Now, Father's Day is coming up. If you're going to talk about church, that would be Father's Day coming up. Also.